I smile all the time uh -huh. when everybody's drafted. Well, you know why I am smiling right now? Because Jabari Smith Jr. is here with us. First of all, Jabari, congratulations. Thanks. I know this is something that you have been working toward for years and years. Can you just describe, we saw your emotions, yeah. I'm sure some nerves in the green room. What were you feeling when you heard your name called? Uh, you know, this is something I've been dreaming about since I was five years old. So hearing my name called, it's like everything settled down and all the emotions came out. I told all my friends I wasn't going to cry, but I couldn't hold it back no more. I see my dad, my mom, and it was just, I had to let it out. Sometimes, sometimes you just, you can't it help it. it. I'm going to preface this by saying Kendrick Perkins is from Texas, so okay. be kind here. What are your impressions so far? Who have you heard from within uh, the Rockets? Um, I talked to the general manager uh, not too long ago, but um, I think I'm going to talk to Jalen Green soon and just knowing they got a young core young team that I can go in there and just grow with, you know, learn from, and just, you know, overall, just be hungry and just, just be patient and just be ready, you know what I mean? Houston Rockets fans, I know what you mean. They are ready, so, obviously, after I'm a little good. bit of a rebuild <laughs> the last couple of years. When I say Houston Rockets fans, I mean Kendrick Perkins. Mm -hmm. so, so this is your camera right over here. Okay. Can you tell Houston Rockets fans what they are getting and why they should be excited? Um, you're getting a hard worker. You're getting somebody who's going to come in with a chip on their shoulder, somebody who's going to come, come in and compete from day one. Somebody who don't care about stats. Somebody who's going to do anything a team needs him to do. Is that defend, score, anything, you know what I'm saying? So you're getting a hard worker, competitor, somebody who don't like to lose. All I care about is that W, so that's what y'all getting. I love that you're coming in with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. You've been wired for sound tonight, so let's just take a listen to what you've had to say. All right. like to hear Even they said you was looking good, didn't you? This is just, ah. Uh, <laughs> With the third pick in the 2022 draft, the Houston Rockets select Jabari Smith Jr. from Auburn University. I love you, boo. And you good. Yeah, I got you. You said that you're coming in with a chip on your shoulder. I find, actually, I spoke to Jalen Green moments oh. after he was drafted last year, and he already said, I'm coming in with a chip on my yeah. shoulder because I should have gone number yeah. one, and now I'm uh -huh. going for that rookie of the year. What uh -huh. are you going for in your first year with that chip? Uh, I'm trying to make the playoffs. You know, rookie of the year is definitely in my eyes, but, you know, I want to win games. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I, that's how I was raised. That's just, that's just who I am. I want to come in and win games, and if I'm, if, if I'm coming into every game trying to win it, I know everything else to take care of itself. So. I'm looking, for, I'm, kind of, I'm looking forward to a big year. You know what? I want to go back to college a little bit with you being back at Auburn. One of my good brothers, my good friends, Marquise Daniels, yep. he spoke very, very highly of you. I yep. just want you to tell us what did that coaching staff and that, and that program mean to your success and what did they do for you as far as you getting to this moment? They got a lot of people on that coaching staff who are really – who really care about you, you know what I mean? That's big in college about, you know, you want to go there and achieve your dreams, but you got people on that coaching staff who I'll talk to for the rest of my life. Mm. Like Marquise Daniels, keeping my head straight through college, like that was my first year, so I went through a lot of ups and downs and he just kept me grounded. He always reminded me that, you know, keep my head grounded and just focus on basketball, you know what I mean? So him, Wes Flanagan, Ira Bowman, Coach Pearl, all of them, they just, they just helped me so much, you know what I'm saying? I thank them for life, you know what I mean? So a great coaching staff and a coaching staff that care about you can go a long way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.